guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my crossbody bags. I've had a lot of people ask for me to compare them and they wanted to just kind of see them on my body so that they can make a decision on which one they want, maybe even for Christmas. So I figured I would go ahead and show them. It's not gonna be really full reviews or anything. I'll talk a little bit about each and then I will show you what they look like on me. Just for reference, I am five foot two and I would say that I'm a true size two, just so you know, for reference. So let's get started. So the first bag that I wanna to talk to you guys about is my Louis Vuitton favorite in the MM size. I get asked about this bag quite often, especially because it is getting harder and harder to get your hands on. It is not being discontinued. It is still being manufactured and made, but uh, they're just, as with all canvas pieces, I think a lot of people are freaking out about canvas pieces and saying like everything is being discontinued. I had someone message me and say the Neverfull is being discontinued. No, that's not happening. Um, the, the favorite is also not being discontinued. They are just making the canvas pieces a lot more difficult to get your hands on. However, of course, obviously, even if you can't get your hands on this before Christmas, there's still the pre-loved market, and it's one of my crossbodies, so I wanted to mention it in this video, of course. I do love this bag. I think it's a great piece. It's so easy and convenient to get your stuff in and out of. I think the size is also nice. For a crossbody, you can still fit quite a bit. And then I also love just the simplicity of being able to open it and close. I do get a lot of questions about my magnet. I have owned the monogram version of this bag as well and I ended up selling it to buy this bag just because I ended up buying the push-up Matisse and that was in monogram and at the time, I didn't want two monogram crossbody bags. But anyways, um, my monogram one, the magnet was a lot stronger than this one is. So I just think it is you know, you really don't know. I think the magnet strength is literally a case by case basis. I wish that this magnet was a little bit stronger or just as strong as my monogram one. It's not, but I've never had any problems with it, but it's definitely not as strong as my monogram one for sure. So this is what it looks like on my body frame. I actually think the length of this is perfect. It is a little bit shorter than the Eva if you're trying to compare the two. The Eva actually didn't work out for me, which is why I never owned the Eva, just because it was too long. But I do like the length of this. I think it looks really nice. You guys also know that I did purchase the fleecy chain for this bag, and that's basically the only way that I wear it, but I still do really like it with the leather strap as well. So the next bag that I have is my Speedy B25 also in a bean and I love this bag. I have worn this quite a bit since I've I bought it and I'm really, really enjoying it. It is very easy, very convenient. I've also had a lot of people ask if I'm still a classic speedy girl and I would say absolutely, but like I suspected, I knew that this one would be extremely convenient, extremely easy to use throughout, you know, just like the weekends with families, grab and go, and I just really love it. And even though I think that the size, uh, like the opening of this is a little bit more difficult to get things in and out of, I still really like the easiness of this bag and the convenience of having the strap. So I definitely do recommend this bag also. I really love it. If you want to compare the difference and the sizes, this one might be a little bit more readily available, but again, I still think that just in general, canvas pieces are just harder to get your hands on, but I do love this bag, so I don't know. Right now, if I had to decide between these two, I am loving this one a little bit more. So here it is, crossbody, and I actually have it on the shortest setting right now on both pieces, so just keep that in mind. I am five foot two, like I said, so I definitely think that it could work for somebody that is taller. If you just lengthen the strap, you can also remove the center strap which let me show you that in just a second you know what let me put it on the longest strap really quickly so you can see what it looks like on me so this is the longest strap on the speedy b25 it is definitely a little too long for me i much prefer it on the shorter strap but just so you can see what it looks like i also think oh th there's some stuffing in here so just keep that in mind it's not going to look so poofy whenever you have your things in there and here it is just with the two outside straps like I said, I'll probably never ever wear it this way, but I just want to show you. And I did put it in the center hole. There are three holes, so I just put it in the center one so you can see it'd be about an inch lower, inch and a half or so lower, and an inch and a half or so higher. So this is what it looks like with just the two straps. But like I said, I will never ever carry it this way. I'll always have the center strap in mind. So here it is again with the shortest strap with all three pieces in there. And like I said, I just love this bag. It is quickly becoming one of my favorites. I do not see ever getting rid of this bag. I just love the convenience of it. And it does fit quite a bit of the size is just great. And it's just really easy and convenient. So the next bag that I have is my Push Up Matisse. And this is definitely one of my favorite crossbody bags. I love this bag. I feel like I grabbed for this one a ton 
this summer and I just kind of fell back in love with it. I've always loved this bag, but I think because I did have it sent off for repair, there was like a little bit of hesitation for me with this bag, but I definitely, definitely love this bag. And I think this is part, one of the bags that the reason why I started growing my crossbody collection, because I just felt like I was carrying the same bags over and over. And I really wanted to have different looks, a variety, just because I started falling in love with crossbody bags so much. The size is surprisingly deceiving. You can fit quite a bit. I do have a what's in my bag for this bag if you guys want to see it so make sure to check out um, you know the rest of my videos down below and I also just so you can see it does have let's see seven different hole options I wear mine in the center so that'll kind of give you an idea you can make it a little bit shorter or a little bit longer depending on your need and here it is crossbody I just love this bag it's just so cute and, and there's something really classic and simple about it. This is the longest setting. It doesn't make a big difference, but it's definitely still too long for crossbody for me in my opinion. And here is the shortest setting. That actually doesn't look bad, but I do prefer it a little bit longer than this. And this is back to the center hole. And I just, I prefer this length. It's just my preference. And I also think when you're wearing it on your shoulder, it doesn't look bad either for my frame. And the next bag that I have is my Gucci Soho Disco. I do not reach for this bag that often at all, I know, but this color is amazingly gorgeous. It is my favorite red by far that I've ever seen in a handbag. It really is just the perfect shade of red. So this one I also wear on the center strap there are five different hole options and mine is right smack dab in the center so let me show you what this looks like so here it is on my body frame like I said I just think it's really nice it actually even looks good with this cardigan just like a nice pop of color but the, this length to me is perfect you could go like I said a little bit shorter or a little bit taller the holes are actually pretty close together so it's not going to make a big difference but i'll go ahead and show you really quickly this is on the shortest setting which is definitely too short and then here it is here it looks fine on the shoulder and this is on the longest setting it's definitely just a tad bit too long cross body and then definitely too long so here it is again on that center hole and like i said i just think this is such a beautiful color the size of it is really nice too. You can see how it looks. It's just, it's a really flattering bag. And then here it is on the shoulder as well. And the next bag that I have is my YSL Kate in the size medium. This is such a classic looking bag. I will definitely admit that I do not reach for this bag that often just because of the look. Do feel like it's a little bit dressier though I have totally worn this casually and I think it's super cute. But I love this bag for special occasions. Not that my life is necessarily conducive of a ton of special occasions, but I do think that this is such a great bag to have for special occasions. And I also just feel like it's timeless. Now, like I said, I haven't worn it a lot, so I don't know what the future holds for this bag. I don't at this point see ever getting rid of it, but you never really know. But I do love it. I think that, I think just in general, it's really beautiful. Whether you go with gold hardware or silver hardware, it really is a stunning bag. And then you can see the interior. It's just such a classic, beautiful bag. It is a little bit shorter for crossbody, but it's still fun. And I just think it's such a beautiful bag. So let me show you what it looks like on me. So this is what it looks like crossbody. You can see it is a tad short. I don't know if I would necessarily wear a crossbody on a regular basis. Maybe if you were just wanting to be a little bit more secure, if you were out and about and you were in a large crowd, I could see doing it crossbody. But even though I, I just don't think it looks great crossbody, I much prefer for this bag like the classic shoulder style there's something really ladylike and elegant about it I just think it's really beautiful so there you go it's really simple classic elegant I just feel like this is one of those bags that I could pull out in 20 years and it still would be on trend so it's just really classic and beautiful it's not adjustable so it's just kind of is what it is with this bag it either works for you lengthwise or it doesn't and I much prefer it on the shoulder and the next bag that I have is my Alma BB in the Verne Dune the color of this bag is stunning but I will admit I really don't reach for it anymore now that I have the YSL especially now that I have the YSL but I do think this is such a cute bag I don't know if I see this in my my collection forever I probably will eventually sell this bag but it is still such a beautiful bag and obviously it's still in my collection so I wanted to mention in this video because I do prefer to wear this one crossbody I like to keep the long strap on it so let me show you what it looks like on me so this is what it looks like crossbody on my body frame you can see it's just such a cute bag and I especially love this color and so I it just it's really nice I think the length is perfect and then let me show you on the shoulder 
It's obviously a little bit longer. The strap is a little longer of a bag, but it still looks good. And then, of course, your other option would be handheld. My personal opinion, I'd probably never carry it handheld unless I was wearing like a cocktail dress or something. I just think for the size, it doesn't look as good. I much prefer it crossbody or on the shoulder with the longer strap for sure. But it's such a cute bag. It really is. And the next bag that I have is my Furla Metropolis bag. This bag is so stinking cute. I love the price point. I just did a video about this bag. If you guys want to check it out, make sure to, it's comparing this to the next bag that I'm going to show you. But I love this bag. It's just such a cute little going out bag. It comes in a ton of colors. I highly recommend this, especially for the price. It's just such a cute bag. And I just, I really, really like it. So let me show you what it looks like on me. Here is what it looks like crossbody on my frame. It is definitely a little bit longer than some of my other bags, but I still think it looks good crossbody. And then here it is, of course, on the shoulder. You can see it is a little bit of a longer bag. Like I said, this bag comes in a ton of colors. And the next bag that I have is my Chanel Mini Square. This is the bag that I compared my Furla to, so if you are interested in a small mini square bag, check out that video for sure. I love this bag too. It's just such a cute bag. The strap is definitely much shorter than the Furla, but I still think it works for me just because I am on the shorter side. I love this bag. I'm so glad that I purchased this bag. It is pre-loved. It is from 2008. Yes, 2008. So it's gold-plated hardware and size-wise, just know that the squares, I do believe, like the squares and uh, the minis and stuff, they, they, they're they slightly different every year. So I can't 100% guarantee the exact length of a new version or what year. They might be slightly different. It could be half an inch, an inch or so different in length. I'm just going to show you mine and just so you can kind of have an idea. But I do know that the squares the straps are shorter than the rectangles for sure. So let me show you what it looks like on. Cross body, it definitely reminds me of the YSL, how it is a little bit shorter here. So I'm not saying that I wouldn't wear it cross body. I just don't think it looks as good style-wise cross body. I much prefer this bag on the shoulder. I just think there's something really classic and ladylike about it on the shoulder. So I just think it's cute. I much prefer this length on my body frame as well. So I just think it looks a little bit more flattering, but this is such a cute bag. I love it. I love the shape. It's so stinking cute. I definitely, definitely love this for sure. And the last bag that I have is my newest bag and it is the Hermes Evelyn in the PM size. I actually haven't had a chance to wear this bag. I feel like whenever I buy new bags, I kind of wait for the perfect day and I just feel like that day hasn't come yet. So I'm not quite ready to wear it yet, but I know I will eventually, but I already know I'm gonna love it. I can already tell size wise, and I just think it's so beautiful. Love the color, so let me try it on for you and you can see I do currently have it on the shortest possible setting, basically. And here it is on the shortest possible setting, and I think that this length is perfect for me. I just think it's a nice, easy, effortless length. And then you can also see I'll probably wear it like this often as well just because it'll just be easy grab and go. So this is the longest setting. So I think it's safe to say that this could definitely work for almost any height possible. And then of course on the shoulder. I just can't see that anybody would ever need it to be that long. But I just wanted to show you just so you can see. I think that it could work for anybody all the way from 5 foot to basically as tall as you could possibly be. So I wanted to put it back on the shortest setting just to show you one more time. You can see the difference. Obviously, this works perfectly for me and you can see that I have it pretty much on the shortest possible setting. Or well, on the shortest possible setting. Any closer to that leather tab and I just don't want it kind of rubbing up against that. So I just think it's the perfect length for my body frame for sure. So that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to make this pretty short and sweet. I did have quite a few bags to show you so this video is probably going to be pretty long but I wanted to show you what they look like on my body frame. I've had so many of you guys ask. I know a lot of you guys do not have access to Louis Vuitton or Hermes or whatever it is Chanel and you have to order things online or you have to order things over the phone. So I just thought this would be helpful if you guys are looking to get one of these bags for Christmas so you can make sure that you order the right one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon.